Hello again, this is Alex from Cognition, and I'm uh, going to take a minute to talk about PID uh, controllers, PID line followers, uh, which are the biggest and most sophisticated form of a line follower. Uh, so, in general, in WRO, a proportional line follower is enough, but I uh, wanted to throw in at least the basics of what a PID is because people have heard of them very frequently and they know that they have something to do with line following, so just wanted to go over it, what it is that they do. So uh, the PID has three parts. The first part is the proportional, P, proportional, and I've already basically gone over that in another video, so I'm going to concentrate uh, on the integral and the derivative. So integral is a uh, mathematics term that means like the sum of everything, and uh, I think you'll see in just a moment what that is. So when we have an error in, in our line following, that means that our robot is a little bit off from where we want it to be. If we kind of take the error on this loop and we add it to the error from last loop and the one from before that, we kind of get a history of how much the robot has been off. So if your robot is sliding off to the right a little bit too much over time, uh, your integral will slowly increase. Um, so what we can do is we can take that slow increase, that history of being consistently off one direction or another, and we can use that to try to compensate for that to uh, to go back. So it's sort of looking at the past um, and and trying to find a trend uh, to, to to correct for it. So that's what an integral is. It's the sum of all the errors in the past. Now, the derivative is uh, uh, it's different. In, with the derivative, we're subtracting. We're not adding. So what we're doing is we're seeing where the robot's error is now, how far off the line that it is right now compared to how far off the line it was the last time. And by doing that, just comparing those two, uh, you can kind of see, well, we must be in a turn because our error is to the right more than it was last time. Uh, so if we're in a curve, it is logical that in the near future we need to continue that curve. So the derivative uh, uses the error this time and the error last time to try to uh, – predict the future of what's going to happen in the near future. So if you're interested in PIDs, I have a, uh, a full solution here, full PID. Um, the K of P value is 2. Uh, I have made the K of uh, I value and the, uh, the K of D values both quite small. Uh, with LEGO Robotics, it's been my experience that the uh, K of I and K of D values need to be very small. Uh, it's worth looking at. It's worth uh, maybe toying with it, seeing if you can tune it a little bit and get a good score. So that's what I wanted to go over with the uh, PID. Take a look at the software. I've commented it quite a bit, and uh, let me know what you think. If you have any questions, uh, you can get me at alex at cogmation.com. Thanks so much. See you next time.